What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to defeat Chuck, the gym leader, yeah, and we got ourselves our fifth badge. What else? We got the fly technique, we got the secret medicine, heck yes. Um, what else? Um, yes, we taught Toxie Batman fly. Now, before we, we, we go anywhere, I completely forgot about this. Well, I intentionally forgot about this because, you know, I wanted to make it interesting right here. I'm going to keep Toxic Batman right there because still need to be at level 30. But if you go north right here of uh, Cyanwood City in Pokemon Crystal, you'll see these guys right here. Yes, you can break them and find some different Pokemon. But not only that, but you'll be able to see this. Well, completely forgot about that. Talk to this lady. She's like, I see y'all and I know all. Certainly, I know, uh, I know of your Pokemon. Well, uh, let's see. Let's go with Cinder. Hmm, I see you met Cinder here, New Bark Town. The time? Morning! It was at level 5. Am I good or not? Incidentally, Cinder has grown. It's gained much strength. That's pretty good, but that's not the thing that I was talking about. It, as you can see, there is somebody waiting for us up there, and that is the legendary Pokemon Suicune. Whoa. Look at that. And after that, Yusin comes going on, and he's like, Yo, Draven! Wasn't that Su wasn't that Suicune just now? I only caught a quick glimpse, but I thought I saw Suicune running on the waves. Suicune is beautiful and grand, and it races through towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I want to see Suicune up close. I've decided. I'll battle you. I'll battle you as a trainer to earn its uh, Suicune's respect. Come on, Draven. Let's battle now. All right. Whatever you say, homeboy. So here we go, guys. A battle against Yusin, the Suicune guy, or a mystical man. So here it is. He's coming out with his Drowsy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Drowsy doesn't look that strong right here. And here's talks to Batman. And off screen, yes, I did teach him Fly. Finally, it earns a better move. But we're going to go with Bite because, you know, dark type move. Easy. And, uh, it, wow, it flinched. Luckily, it flinched because that would have been bad for us. Here we go again with a little bite attack. Goodbye. Say bye-bye. Look at that. And, uh, well, he's coming out with another Pokemon right here. He's coming out with his Haunter. So, I'm going to stick by right here and take on this Haunter. Let's go. Let's do this. Bring it on, Haunter. Go in again with another bite attack. Mm-hmm. And that takes care of that with the critical hit. I'm loving this one. And finally, Toxic Batman grows to level 30. And it's trying to learn Wing Attack. Wow! Waited all this time for that! Okay. Hey, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna take away Confuse Ray. Eventually, it's gonna learn some new moves and stuff. Might as well have Wing Attack just right there. Thanks a lot, Fly. Okay, so he's coming out with his Electrode right here. And, uh, well, we're gonna go straight to... Uh, let's go with Lucky. Oh, wait, that was Relic. My bad. My bad. Never mind. Okay, so I wanted to go with Lucky, but I guess I'm gonna go with uh, Relic right here. Yeah. Okay, so let's go with that Shadow Ball. Mm-hmm. Super powerful Pokemon right here. And that rollout attack is going to keep on increasing. Do not want that to, well, to finish me off right here. So let's go with that headache, or headbutt, I should say. Hilarious. Hilarious. And, uh, well, close to level 40, which is good. He's like, I hate to admit it, but you win. Yeah. You're amazing, Draven. No wonder Pokemon gravitate to you. I get it now. I'm going to keep searching for Suicune. I'm sure we'll see each other again. See you around. Alrighty, so that won't be the last time you'll see Suicune. Now, you're going to be seeing Suicune in different places. I will show you where. Now let's go straight to the lighthouse and get our sixth badge right here. So let's get that fly attack going. And as you can see, now we can go anywhere we visited. So we got to go back to Olivine City right here. Look at that. Easy, easy stuff. Okay, so we're back in Olivine City. And, uh, well... Time to go up to the uh, to the light tower right or the lighthouse right here, and you know, not battle anybody. Just give that medicine and uh, you know, save a save a Pokemon from dying. You know, save that Pokemon because that's what we do. We save Pokemon. We battle them. We do everything with them. I guess I don't know. 
So how are you guys doing right there? How was your Thanksgiving? If this comes out on Thanksgiving, how was your Thanksgiving? I want to know. Comment down below. I ate a lot. Believe it or not, the girlfriend that made me enchiladas. She made me pozole. What else is it? Everything good in Mexican, which is hilarious, man. I was so full. Oh my god. It was heaven. So, yeah. I'm very thankful for all you guys still watching my episodes right here. So, that's one thing that I can be thankful for. So, here we are back into the lighthouse right here. And, uh, well, the man is back. And here she is. She's like, will you, will that medicine cure Ampy? Heck yes. And it is a secret potion. And, Jasmine, um, pl please don't be offended. Ampy will not take anything from anyone but me. So, here she is. Given that secret potion, and uh, Amphi, how are you feeling? Ooh. Oh, dang. Hello, Malu! Oh, this Pokemon is... Ah, look at that. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very, very much. I will return to the gym. Alrighty, alrighty. I'll see you over there. Let's talk to this guy right here. Palu, palulu. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. Nearly blinded me right there. All right. Okay. So, time to go to the gym. Time to finish unfinished businesses and stuff, and time to do stuff that, you know, we normally do, and that is win badges, win gym battles, and all that stuff. That's right. Coming back to Viridian City. Alrighty. So. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna go up there. I already got my healing item, so it's all right. You know, it's all good and stuff. So here's the gym, and let's talk to this guy right here. Jasmine uses the newly discovered Steel-type Pokemon. I don't know very much about it. Well, after 20 years, we already know. And, well, here's the funny thing, guys. I've been saving this for a very, well, for a while. You guys already had an idea of what I was gonna do, but, I do have a rare candy, and I do have a Pokemon, a certain Pokemon that is at level 35. Might as well do that and uh, take care of business right now. So here we go, giving that rare candy my Cinder, and guess what? Cinder is finally evolving. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is going to be sweet. Oh yeah. So hello. Oh yeah, that's a beastly kind of move right there. Congratulations, your Cinder has finally evolved into Typhlosion. Ooh. And that's not all. I did buy something a little bit special for my uh, my Typhlosion, and that is TM48 Fire Punch. And, uh, well, I'm going to teach it to him because he's, he's definitely going to need it for this one right here. So, I'm going to take away Quick Attack. I've already taken away Rock Smash. I'm going to be well prepared for this one right here. So, as you probably already noticed, guys, for those who are not new, for those who are new, the way to defeat a Steel-type Pokemon is through a Fire-type Pokemon. Very simple. And I got that. A very powerful one. And would you take a look at that, man? My, my, my whole team is fully evolved, which is awesome. I'm happy about this. Alrighty, let's go. Thank you for your help at the Lighthouse. But this is the different. This is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use Steel type Pokemon. Do you know? Do you know about the Steel type? It's a type that was only recently discovered. Um, may I begin? Why? Well, let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. So here we go, guys. Our sixth gym, ba gym battle, right? Yeah, against gym leader Jasmine, and uh, she's gonna be coming out with her. Well, with her Magnemite, and believe it or not, yes, Magnemite is a Steel-type Pokemon. It just got converted into a Steel-type Pokemon. Okay, so going on to the next screen right here, guys. Yes, Jasmine is a Steel-type Pokemon. She is the only trainer in this gym after you, uh, you know, you help her out with Amphi and all that stuff. And she does come out with quite a few Pokemon right here. She does come out with a Magnemite. She does come out with, uh, well, two Magnemites and a Steelix. Now, Magnemite, if you guys probably already know, it got converted into a Steel-type. Best way to defeat these Pokemon is through Fire-types. Be aware, they do have the same kind of moves. Thunderbolt, Supersonic, Sonic Boom, Thunder Wave. Those moves can actually do some damage to you. They might paralyze you. Now, if you go up against that Steel-type Pokemon, Steelix, 
It has Iron Tail, Rock Throw, Sunny Day, and Screech. So, let's get back into this right here. Fire Punch. That's right. Now, be aware, Steel types are very, very defensive. Very, very defensive. You gotta be aware of that right there. Scary. Very, very scary. But Fire type moves, they will work. So, here she comes out with a Steeler. She's already panicking. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't have done that. You should have done that. So, let's go with that Flame Wheel. Oh, yes. I'm loving the sound of this right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, whoa, survived. And there goes that rock, though, that we were talking about right there. That's its contingency plan for its, you know, its uh, fire-type Pokemon. So, she's using the high proportion right here. I'm going to go with the dig because she might just go for another physical attack right here. Yes, I did teach, I did teach Hyphlosion uh, dig off screen just just for this occasion right here and many more and as you can see it's super effective but super defensive right here and right now I'm shooting myself in the foot with this so I gotta go with that fire uh, fire punch attack right now and as you can see finishes off that Steelix very defensive lots of experience points and time to finish off that Magnemite. No, I'm going to stick with Typhlosion right here. Let's go, Cinder. Let's do this. Flame Will for the win. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, uh, yeah. Fatality. Flawless victory. On this one. I already know I got hit quite a few times. So there it is, guys. We got another victory on a gym leader. And she's like, you are a better trainer than me. In both skill and kindness. In accordance with the league rules, I confer upon you this badge. Wow, she's like really, really proper right here. So here it is, guys. The mineral badge. Our sixth badge. And of course, the mineral badge raises Pokemon's defense. Um, please take this too. Which is TM23 Iron Tail. You could uh, use that TM to teach Iron Tail, and pretty much it. Um, I don't know, um, I don't know how to say this, but good luck! Okay, that's... Okay, uh, um, that was pretty quick right there. So, there you go guys, six badges. Oh wait, yeah, six badges right there guys. We got six badges already guys, wow. Alright, okay, alright, let's see our name right here, that's right. Draven, that's right, and this guy, he's like, that was awesome. The Steel types, huh? That was a close encounter of an unknown kind. Well, how is it unknown if, well, I, I don't even want to bitch about it right now, but here it is, guys. We won, it's awesome, I feel great, we feel stupendous. Um, you know what, there's no need for us to be right here, so let's go back to Ecrotech City. Because where we need to go is a little bit further than that. So here we are back in Ecrotech City. Well, hmm, what else do I have to say? Well, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going straight to Mahogany Town. It's going to be fun. Let's hope it, let's hope it is fun. So see you guys.